Hi there, welcome to this week's uh, Midweek Reflection. Thanks uh, so much for taking time out just to um, tune in to uh, this couple of minutes uh, where I just talk about uh, an issue that um, might uh, might be helpful for you. Um, for those of you who know me, you'll be very familiar with the fact that I'm not a big f- uh, fan of um, President Donald Trump uh, for a number of reasons, but primarily I find his lack of empathy and compassion um, for others um, somewhat um, somewhat disturbing. Anyway, when news broke uh, recently of uh, Mr. St- Mr. Trump uh, contracting uh, COVID, I think the assumption was that I would be happy uh, by the thought that uh, this man was was uh, perhaps suffering or even perhaps uh, might die. But um, that that was definitely not the case. You know. Um, um, Mr. Trump, like us all, is a human being created in the image and, uh, and the likeness of God. And so I, I certainly don't wish him any ill will and I do wish him a, a speedy recovery. I guess I'm a little bit like Peter Fitzsimmons who said, um, I wish Trump a speedy recovery so the people of the US can, can um, vote him out. Uh, but also in the book of Proverbs uh, in chapter 24 and verse 17, Um, The Bible instructs us and says that do not rejoice when your enemies fall and do not let your heart be glad when they stumble. You know, that's a really great litmus test as to our character, uh, whether we're people of of grace or not. Um, When we see someone that we uh, dislike or or strongly disagree with, when we see them going through a challenging or, or difficult time and Proverbs 24, 17 reminds me of the words of Jesus in in Matthew 5 when he said, uh, Your ancestors have also been taught to love your neighbours and hate the one who hates you. However, I say to you, love your enemy. Bless the the one who curses you. Do something wonderful for the one who hates you and respond to the very ones who persecute you by praying for them. For that will reveal your identity as children of your heavenly Father. He is kind to all by bringing the sunrise to warm and rainfall to refresh, um, whether a person does what is good or evil. You know, God um, is a God who, um, regardless of a person's uh, behavior, ultimately is kind and gracious um, towards them. And our identity as, uh, as children of this kind of Father, it, it, we, we ref, reflect uh, Him, or reflect God the Father when we um, do likewise. And so perhaps there are people in your world right now that you're struggling with, that, you're, um, that you don't see eye to eye with in regards to um, uh, issues. Um, can I just encourage you, um, pray for them. Uh, bless them um, and um, wish them no evil, but wish them well. Hopefully that's uh, helpful for you. Anyway, enjoy uh, the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Hopefully we'll catch up with you real soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.